I know. Morning. Hey, how's it going? How you doing today? Good. Good. How are you? We got a little late start this morning, didn't we? Yeah, it seems like the Mindac boys like to sleep. Oh, or maybe I was, just I me. was up at seven. Oh. Wait, for what you. time are you up? Uh, seven. Oh, so I'm just a lazy bum. No, you you grind that no, clash. No, you need that. You sleep. need that. that you need clash you need grinding. A cranky John in the morning is never good, and he still needs more caffeine. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to our little ice shanty <laughs> restoration project here. Um, yeah, we got a little late start this morning. It's about 10 a.m. It is what it is. We're here. If you guys have not seen the last two videos, I'll put a thing right here so you guys can check it out. Sam and myself purchased this ice shanty and we're remodeling it or restoring it. So in the last episode, we did the floors. Oh yeah. I mean, the floors look immensely better than what it was before. It was just like plywood, but we laid in this snapping vinyl and it looks way better boys. Don't you think? Yes. So that was a huge step in our process to restoring this. And we are going to get started on the, in my opinion, probably the hardest part of this project, which is going to be the walls. Now we don't know 100% what we're going to do yet, but we're thinking we're going to go to Menards and find some type of paneling uh, for the walls to put up. And then we're going to do the same for the ceiling. It might not be the same texture as the walls, but it's going to be the same color around the same color. So, uh, we're going to first off take off everything on the walls so then we can lay this, the paneling down. It'll be a lot more flat and a lot easier. So we're going to do that process and then go to Menards and do all that. I don't know how long this is going to take. I don't think we'd get it done today, but if we got a good chunk of it done, I'd be pretty happy. But let's get the time lapses rolling. Getting it done. <laughs> So as you can see, the boys took off this top little bed that was up there and then we pulled all the trim off and we pulled more trim off over here. We took off the covers to the electrical things. So that didn't take very long, pulled some more trim. And then we removed the pizza oven little thingy here. I don't know what exactly that strap was, but we are leaving some things up for a little bit because we're going to have one of Owen's buddies that knows more about this. Uh, to kind of give us his insight and not on how he would do things. So for right now, we're leaving that up um, We haven't even touched this wall yet And then we haven't even touched the trim on the ceiling yet We have all the dimensions for the walls and ceilings So I think we're gonna go to Menards and try to find something that would look good in here uh, Again, I'm thinking white I just think that would make it look modern and look a lot different and cool than what it was So I'll see you guys over at Menards your pick. <laughs> All right, we made it to the paneling area. And this is kind of what we're thinking. Something like this. I mean, it looks way better than what we have up there at the moment. And it, I mean, it looks kind of expensive, but at the same time, I think it's gonna be nice because you just put it on there. We're gonna take the nail gun and just boop, 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 right on the plywood that's already on there. So it's gonna hopefully be a lot easier. They also sell these mega sheets of what? Tile board panels, decorative panels. They have this stuff too, which is bigger. And that also might be easier too, because you could just dang near slap this thing on there and call her a day. What are you thinking right now, Sammy? There's a lot of options. I'm not really one to ask, but we're going to figure it out as a team. All right, so we came over to the, the paneling section here. We were originally thinking the shiplap would be good, 
but after doing some calculations and stuff and how much work it would be we're thinking this would be a better option for us because we're kind of noobs it go faster and i mean it's gonna look better than what is there right now um so the floor we have is kind of the smoke brick gray i think it's called and then this is caribou oak we think we think this might we might be onto something it might look good um it could look bad but no idea we're just gonna take the gamble and then we talked about the ceiling just painting it white i don't know i think that's kind of where we're at right now but yeah in my opinion this looks all right i just don't know if we put it in and it's gonna look like a like a 1920s home it definitely could but at the same time it's gonna look better than what it was and this is justin <laughs> My Menard's employee. Menard's employee. He's a big, you're a big construction guy. You actually yeah. built your own house out. Yeah. Um, so he, we, we brought him in for some insight because he's very knowledgeable. I mean, he looks like a smart guy. <laughs> he wears a little trucker. Yeah, what, what, what is that for? What is that that's, for? You just that's ready? That's his telly. That's his telly hey, one. There you go. See? Yeah, <laughs> you look good in that. But all right, we're going to have to figure out how many of these we need. We're going to grab it and then probably go grab some paint and some paint stuff and then call it a day. Very good. Just 10 more of those, please. Just all different colors? Yep, just just put a blindfold on and grab one. Oh, easy there, buddy. Getting excited. I'm on the bottom and the big old nails. We going with that black trim, boy? Oh, yeah. That should look good. So the yep. issue with doing the black trim is we're gonna have to do the trim all, all black, and then that's all around the bottom of the house, all around the top of the house. Yeah. So we definitely gonna need some trim, boy. I got three right here. All right, so we have the walls, the trim, and now we need to get paint. And this is a really smart idea. Justin suggested doing the paint first, so then that way you don't have to really cover up the walls because I don't care if it gets covered in paint. So we're gonna get some rollers and paint. Oh, yep, that would be handy. Here, to hold that. Will that roll the whole thing? Looks like the right size to me, That'll Justin. Work. There we go. All right, so we got two rollers. Oh, yeah. And now paint, Bucko. Paint. What kind paint. of paint do you want? All right, well, I guess we'll get one of these bad boys. Dutch Boy ceiling paint. All right, there we go. That truck is sexy. I ain't gonna cap it y'all. But we just got done checking out. Ended up spending like $700, okay? Um, I've been kind of keeping track here. Yesterday on the flooring, we spent around 300. So we're already $1,000 into this project. Now, the purpose of this video was yes to show you that you don't need to spend so much money on things uh, that you can you know, use some elbow grease and all that stuff. Um, I, I do, however, wanna make this look nice. There was cheaper options of doing all of this where you could have made it cheaper or as cheap as you basically wanted to make it. Like I could have just taken it fishing and it would have been fine. But for the purpose of the video, I want to make it look cool and uh, just kind of build it out a little bit better. So yeah, we are spending a little bit of money in there. So thousand dollars in, we're going to load up the bad boy and then get on going. Oh, hi, you got it, Sam? Sure. Sheesh, you've been working out, boy. Me too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's not going anywhere. That's just like the typical dad thing to say. Oh yeah. I can't hear you. Is that what you got, Bucko? I don't know. That's what that's what you got. But I'll tell you I'll tell you what's meta. All right, right here. I got it in my hands. 
chicken tendies. That's why you go to Culver's, bro. They're chicken tendies, slept on, and the root beer. Got a good little crunch to her, huh? All right, well, we just made it back to the crib here, and we're going to eat some Culver's, obviously, unload everything, bring it in here, and get to work. Step one inside there, though, is probably going to be paint the ceiling. Hello? Hey. Oh God, what's going on in here? This uh, Justin got real damn bad, Hey, look at this. Hey, yo, look we, at we this. We brought place. in a pro and he got really ambitious we and excited did. and he didn't like the moisture, which is totally correct. I mean, I totally agree with him. I'm just... Lazy. No, you're lazy. I am lazy. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just got back. We just had some lunch. And we went in here with Justin and we were looking at everything. And he opened up the uh, the wall just to peek back there. And uh, well, he didn't like what he saw. It wasn't polyurethane sheeted or whatever, however you say it, I don't know. So he's like, you know what? We're gonna do this right. We're gonna take off all the walls, all the trimming, and now we're gonna poly it and then put our siding on. So yeah, it's probably the smart thing to do. I was planning on being lazy and just drilling in the, the new paneling that we just got. But number one, this is gonna be better because uh, it's gonna help with the moisture and it's gonna keep the house warmer. And also, it's gonna make our house a lot lighter taking out these boards and then putting our boards in rather than having both boards in there. So yeah, we're just gonna get after it, man, and see how much we can get done. Well, Bubba, hey, our house looks a little bit worse than it started now. I'd yeah, say. I think it's going downhill, ain't it? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be doing it the opposite, but we ended up getting all the walls off. We're leaving that the ceiling because we're just gonna paint that. As you can see, we're getting that ready. But look at her. This is what was underneath all that plywood. Just pretty much some insulation. And then some of this is poly, but not all of it. So we're gonna finish it and poly the rest of it. But I mean, yeah, that's what she looks like right now. So I don't know how I'm gonna film this because obviously I don't want paint dripping on the camera. So I'll just do, get some handheld shots. Uh, we're going to paint the top of this, let it dry a little bit, and then maybe you start working on the walls. I don't know, but it's, uh, it's a process, but it's slowly coming along. We promise it's gonna look better at some point in time. fellas that was quick it like we keep saying this in every video it already looks better but it does i got i got paint in my mustache you like that oh, i can see it it looks good we got the fan in here to let it dry and we're just gonna hang out for a little bit just let it do its thing and then we are gonna do a second coat because we have the paint 
and Daddy Justin wants it to look perfect. So we're gonna do it. I, I mean, that's okay, I was gonna do it too. But um, yeah, after we get that second coat on, then we're gonna start on the walls, which that's probably when I'll pick up the camera again. All right, so I didn't film it, but we just got done putting that second coat of paint on the ceiling. It looks good. I mean, that'll buff out. That will do for us. While we're waiting for the second coat to dry, we are gonna start cutting the, the walls that we got today at Menards, uh, just so when this is ready to go, we can just go in there and stay bang, 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 get it all in. So we're gonna start cutting now and hopefully this goes good. But I mean, honestly, the progress we've done today between getting everything and getting all the ceiling done and ripping everything out completely, I'll take it. In. Ooh, the nipples are gonna look good up there, I think. Low key. It was for Luke. Yeah, Luke, we got the nipple lights just for you, brother. Hey, we got a screw. Sheesh, we got the nipple on there. That don't look bad, honestly. No, that looks good. Like, people are gonna walk in and be like, dang, this is, this is bougie. Legit house, there we go. All right, moment of truth, slamming. Is it gonna work? Did Justin, is Justin gonna work? Is this gonna work? Sheesh! Holy oh, cowboys! Yeah. Look, we should start a business. I mean, me and Sam wouldn't really do much, but no. you guys would should start just a business the then. Process. Yeah, we would just film the process and put it on YouTube. But dude, look at this, I'll step back here. So we painted this, looks way better than before. We got three boob lights in here. Damn, Damn. it was busting in here. Triple. So we got all of the ceiling taken care of pretty much. We just have to do some trim, which we're gonna do that in a little bit. But I think we're gonna start with the walls now. And we've came a long way so far with the floor and the ceiling. It's awesome.
What up? How's it oh, going? Hey, what? Why does it look so nice in here now? Holy cow, boys and girls. She. It looks good. Courtesy of Mr. Justin. Courtesy, of, Justin. courtesy of all these guys. Yeah, for real. I don't know if they watch a time lapse, but this man and but basically all these guys are going hard and me and Sam are just like, woo, yeah, it, yeah. It, yeah, yeah. It was supposed to just be, you know, us and then Owen and then Justin stepped in and just took over and he was just cooking. And this we'll is what happens. Cook. This is yeah, what happens, cook, man. Yeah. Holy cow, guys. What do you guys think of the shack now? You guys saw it this morning. We had the floor down, which was cool. But now we got all of this done. We got the roof done. Oh, and we got the lights too, which is really cool. All you gotta do is the trim and then start adding beds and all that other stuff and then put the heater back over there. But in my opinion, I think it looks absolutely fantastic right now. Once again, huge shout out to the boys for helping out. This would not be possible without the guys. If this was just me and Sam doing this, this would look brutal, so bad. So really thankful that these guys helped out. But yeah, that's probably gonna wrap up this video. Like I said, all I have to do now uh, to finish the walls and stuff is just put the trim up, which will, I'll probably just do a time lapse of that in the next video. So I believe the next video might be the last build video. And then after we do that video, it's gonna be time to take it out fishing for the very first time. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. Let us know if there's any other thing we should add in here that you guys think would be beneficial to us. Um, but other than that, guys, that's all I got for you. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya! Adios.